start with the little finger carrots. Uh, they're the oldest I have. They're 2014, but they grew really well last year from the same seed packet. I'm going to do one row of these and then I'm going to alternate with uh, a row of radishes. Now it says to do these 1 8 inch deep, so I just made tiny little furrows with my fingers and then we're just going to pat it over. And carrot seeds are exceptionally tiny. So there's no way to really plant them without having to thin them later, no matter how much that bothers you. I just rub them through my fingers as I let them go. Okay, then I'll skip a row. Get them going down this one. Skip a row. And skip another row. Okay, so next up I'm going to do some cherry bell radishes. This row, I'm going to try to plant them a little further apart. Uh, but I'm going to do two at a time because these are what year? Um, these are 2014. And I very well may rebel can some radishes this year. And I could pickle, but I really would prefer them just canned. That's the second row. So this row is next. I will be planting the malagas. And the nice thing about planting, interplanting carrots and radishes is that by the time the radishes are done, the carrots are finally up. And then you're, by pulling the radishes, you're naturally thinning them out for the carrots to have more space. Because their foliage is going to get big and it's going to shade the area where the radishes were. Next will be the Chinese red meat radishes. And these ones are from 2017. Boy, that wind's really picking up. Now, these ones I've never grown before either, but I've eaten them. do the Yellowstone carrot. And look at the seeds, they're gray. <laughs> I 
These ones are slightly bigger than the little fingers. Next, I'm going to do a row of the Pusaju Muni, which I believe is the Japanese one. These seeds are slightly larger than the other varieties of radish I've planted so far. because yeah, these are all the stakes that I can find right now, I'm going to plant the other side with the remainder of what I want planted over there. Alright, so next we're going to do the Cosmic Purple Carrot. This one. red core chantonet. <sighs> Planting carrot seeds when the wind kicks up, not a lot of fun because they're so light they want to blow. of the isopor radishes. Radishes last a long, long time in the fridge after you take the greens off, but I don't want to overplant too many varieties because gotta be eaten. And I'm the only one who really likes radishes. But these all mature at slightly different times, so I shouldn't be overwhelmed. <sighs> oh. 
out right so I'm just not gonna have anything in between these last few rows of carrots because like I said I don't want to overwhelm so now I just need to water everything and that's as much planting as I'm gonna do today